aim, fire. What's up, everyone? Larry here, aka Buff Hippie, representing Natty Fit. Gonna start a vlog video. Wow, look at that bed hair. So, anyways, um, I just woke up. It is a uh, 3 p.m. and um, and this is pretty typical for me. This is uh, this is my normal routine. This is my sleeping pattern. I actually work nights for like six years, and on my off days, days I work, I sleep during the day, and I'm awake during the nighttime. So this is my normal sleeping pattern. Um, completely 100% nocturnal. So, anyways, um, I ha did have work last night. I work in the ICU for you guys, if you guys don't know. I'm an ICU nurse, registered nurse. So, anyways, um, just kind of wanted to talk about my sleep setup. So, when I get off from a shift, it's around like 7 o'clock or so. Sun's coming up. So, a lot of times I'll throw on some sunglasses. And I throw on sunglasses not to necessarily protect my eyes, but it's just to kind of get my body ready for bedtime because um for me you know like the sun's coming up so i kind of mimicking like like a sunset kind of so throw on some sunglasses drive home and when i get home i have let me let me switch the camera here uh let me switch the sorry anyways <laughs> i have uh so these are blackout blinds that I have here. And then behind the blackout blinds, I have these black paper that's supposed to also decrease the light. So I actually have it doubled up. So I'll have this like black paper, which I think takes out like, supposed to take out almost like 90 some percent. And then the blackout blinds, which will take off the rest. And then on top of that, I actually have a somewhere in my bed a sleep mask. So I mm, actually make like a artificial night in my room, and that's how I sleep. Um, I cannot sleep without a sleep mask anymore. If I go to a hotel or anything, if I go out, I have to have a sleep mask. That's just a must. And um, so yeah, the. The less light you have in a room, the more melatonin that your body's going to produce. So melatonin, again, it's just a hormone that kind of prepares you to sleep. And the more melatonin you produce, the deeper your sleep, the better to sleep, the better your H, you know, your growth hormone, recovery, and sleep again. It's just so important. And um, I find that you know, since I don't have any stimulants, the the sleep that I have is just so much better. So anyways, that's it for that. Um, for the day, I think I'm planning to, let's see, it's Tuesday. So probably go to All You Can Eat Wings. I'll take you guys with me. Um, first thing in the morning that I do, I usually go to the bathroom, pee. After I pee, I weigh myself. I, I weigh myself like pretty much every day um, just to kind of see my weight. It's, um, right now, I'm just trying to maintain any give or take, like plus or minus two pounds from 165. I think I probably lost. We'll see how much I weigh. Um, just because I kind of noticed, I, I don't know, my appetite just hasn't been there. And I, you know, um, just kind of just go with it. And last, and usually on the work shift, if you're, you're so busy, you don't really get a time, you know, as much time to eat. Um, but, anyways, I don't really work out and work out on my um, work days anymore. Just because I have enough days off to work out. Before I used to work out, I used to hit the Tower 200 like every, you know, after a 12 hour shift, I'll just do a quick 20 minute workout. But I don't do that no more. All right, so I'm going to weigh myself. And then after that, usually get some bee pollen. I'm going to be talking about bee pollen, just how good it is for you. I've done previous videos on just how how great it is, but I'm going to talk a little, about, a little bit more about it. All right, guys. One more thing before I weigh myself. So I actually wanted to talk about my lights that I have set up. So this is my ceiling fan with the lights. Those are not regular lights. Those are actually sad lights. Those are seasonal affective disorder lights. 
So I noticed when I when I when I first started working night shifts, um, that my mood was just you know like I was just a little bit sadder than usual, and I you know I just did research about just. You know, because I, I didn't really get as much sunlight as much. I try to get it at least 15 minutes. Like, I'm going to see the sun's out. San Diego, we're, we're pretty fortunate we have the sun every day. Almost every, not almost every day. But yeah, no, no, actually, almost every day. But uh, there's some times where I can't get any light. So I actually have these sad lights installed. And, um, you know, when I since the time I've got them installed, I did notice a difference in my mood. So I just got them on Amazon. I mean, they don't give you, like, I'm not going to get a tan from them or anything like that. Like, I don't think it's that broad spectrum or whatever, but uh, it will help your mood. These are, I think they use the same same lights they'll use, like, in therapy. Like, you think, like, if you're, like, if you live out in Seattle where there's pretty much, like, you know, um, only, like, a few days of sunlight, where do you get sunlight? Uh, some people will go through light therapy. So actually just stare at a light. Um, and it's supposed to um, help their mood. So, anyways, that's it. All right, let's go away. Let's go away myself. All right. So today, well, this is me carrying the phone too, and I do have some clothes on. Um, it's been pretty cold. Usually I, during summertime, pretty much just in underwear. But since it's been pretty cold, I'm actually in like sweats, a long sleeve. With the phone, I'm 165 flat, so I think the phone probably, give or take with the clothes, probably a pound or two, so probably 163, so today is wing day, so I'm just going to take it as a cheat day, and then just go for it. <laughs> Again, I'm just trying to stay, you know, 165 plus or minus two pounds. Alright, let's go hit the kitchen. So here it is, some bee pollen, so this is a, what, a 10 pound bag of bee pollen? That I have here, 100% pure bee pollen that I got off of Amazon. I forget how much I paid for it, but it's a whole lot cheaper, obviously, if you buy it in bulk. So before, I used to buy it by the pound, and I would go through those suckers, you know, pretty, pretty re relatively pretty fast. So uh, now I just buy it in bulk. So anyways, I usually take a tablespoon of this and just take it straight, straight to the dome, and then just follow it up with some water. Um, and I do that, I've been doing that, I don't know, usually in the winter time where it's like flu season, I, I noticed that my allergies will start to act up a little bit more. So I just been kind of increasing my bee pollen intake. Um, usually it's about two tablespoons a day, one in the morning, one at night, but now I've been kind of upping it up to three and I've noticed that that's kind of kept it at bay. Um, so yeah, this is, I usually, I started taking bee pollen mainly for mainly for uh for allergies but man like i just i just noticed there's so many other benefits to it it, it gives you energy it has all it has all the bcas has tons of amino acids it has you know all the b vitamins so that's the reason why you get a lot of energy and um this is just an added bonus <laughs> but anyways i just got a call there so that kind of cut the video off there it's okay so anyways um yeah, tons of benefits for bee pollen. It also has the added benefit of actually increasing your libido and actually making you last longer in, in, in bed. So, you know, I've been taking this for 10 years and this is like, I guess one of my kept secrets is that like uh, bee pollen, it, it helps with that. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna take some bee pollen and um, I'm gonna take it with my Bart Simpson cup. Love the Simpsons, love that mug. Um, what else can I say about bee pollen? So actually, uh, if you, if you guys don't know what bee pollen really is, so bee pollen is basically the food that, that bees eat. They'll, they'll go around on, you know, the, whatever the flowers and they'll collect pollen and they'll, they'll actually make the pollen to, to this bee pollen, this, this kind of like these big kind of grainy stuff. And, um, then at that point they'll eat it. Um, and then after that, after they eat it, I think they'll regurgitate it into honey. So for, for, for you guys that don't know what honey is, honey is actually bee vomit. It's actually regurgitated bee pollen. <laughs> so yeah, so the, the bee pollen, it's, you know, it's as far as the, the nutrient profile, I think it's a lot more 
has a lot more nutrients than than the than um, regular honey because honey has been kind of partially been digested from the bee. But honey is great too. Um, but I noticed that with allergies, the bee pollen is the one that actually does the job. So get a hold of some bee pollen, guys. All those benefits. All right, got this. Um, I have a webinar at four, so I am taking an online class for this uh, ACSM certified personal trainer. So I am a certified personal trainer through expert rating, which is a pretty easy certification. Um, ACSM is actually kind of has it's kind of recommended for people who have like a strong science or medical background because they use a lot of pretty medical stuff like um, I'll talk about medications, uh, all the different types of muscle groups. Like, so you have to have a strong background of anatomy and everything. So, anyways, I'm I'm doing ACSM. Um, I think I have two more webinars to go, and then I'll probably study for a little bit, and then I'll take my ACSM certified personal trainer, and hopefully pass it. So, I am legally able to to train people, but with the with the ACS, but at this point, a lot of gyms are not accepting expert rating, expert rating. Um, certification so I'm just going for my ACSM just in case I want to work in the gym um, and that's it all right guys all right guys so this is my webinar class that I'm attending so it's eight minutes before it starts so I'm actually early for class so this is kind of interesting this is my first time ever doing a webinar and um, for you guys who've never done it it's it's kind of like a virtual class. I mean, you can actually like write questions. Uh, I guess there is a instructor who's live and you can ask questions at the, you know, just right there live. You can virtually raise your hand. And um, there's times where they'll ask questions and they'll kind of ask for your input. So it's pretty interactive. I think this is probably going to be the future of, of classes now. It's going to be done through webinar. Um, I graduated back in 09 and, you know, when I was in nursing school, they were still kind of doing, you know, just regular classrooms. But uh, I kind of talked to some nursing students that are, you know, in school right now, and they were talking about they're doing this whole reverse class where the where the students will just be given the material and they'll read the material, learn it, and then they'll like teach it to each other, and then the class time like they'll they'll get together as a class and it'll just kind of be just kind of like this like open discussion like a socratic kind of seminar so it's i don't know it's kind of interesting kind of a little bit different opposed to just like where an instructor just kind of just feeds you the information Oop. so anyways uh let's see if i could flip it so yeah i'm just in my pajamas not pajamas but my sweats and you know just a little my stringer or whatever and I'm attending class in six minutes. So I'm early. I'm always early. Always early to class. I'm gonna try to go th try to go through my notes and um, learn this stuff. All right, guys. Just wanted to talk for a little bit. All right. What is up, everybody? So I'm um, actually at Hooters right now with my friend, good friend Jocker right here, Jocker Alejandro, and um, we are here for the all you can eat wings, $13.99. I'm trying to go for a record today. I'm going to try to go for 60 wings. I've, I've actually done 60, but I've never done it. I never got a chance to videotape it. I think 54 is my record on Instagram, but I'm going to try to go for 60. Anyways, this is the little contraption I made here. Some hot sauce. I just kind of mix it together. It's cayenne pepper, olive oil, rosemary, thyme, and some sea salt. So anyways, I make my own hot sauce uh, just because I can't do vinegar because vinegar is, uh, pretty much feeds your candida, so this is all candida friendly. So anyways guys, uh, there, gonna have some fun, get some good eats, and I'll keep you guys posted. Alright.